Hey guys, welcome back to Homestead Prepping and Survival. I came in with the dog's food after filling his feeder up and Buddy decided he wanted to be a few feet further away. I guess I made too much noise with that bag. My sweet peas eating. All the grass is cut. This little monkey right here has got some kangaroo in him, I believe, because he likes to jump too much and them claws hurt. But either way, I just filled up his feeder. It wasn't quite empty, but I don't like him to run out, so. It's all done. Except for that crater of a hole he's dug right there in the driveway. But either way, he even cut around the fruit trees and back there toward the property line trail down by the range so it's been a beautiful day today a little bit warm when that sun was beating down earlier when i was moving all that metal but it's been a beautiful day and i already did a little video for y'all for in the morning so this one will probably come out tuesday so it won't be long and the adults will be hanging out in the in their pen and i'll probably let the Baby's out to 18 until it gets good and dark and they go to roost. But either way, mower did fine. About time to order a new set of blades. I'd rather order a new set than sharpen those. But either way, I'll probably order a new set, put them on, and then sharpen them and throw them on the shelf as a spare. My brother texted me while I was cutting grass and I had the phone on charger, so... But he says, I found some more long metal. And I've got enough long metal to do this side, if I'm not mistaken. I believe there's three pieces there. And two over here. I want to count and see how many I used. Y'all, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five. Five and a half. So, I definitely have enough of the wide metal that's that long long stuff to do the lean to on this side i may have to like take some of the shorter pieces to do the last row but that won't be a problem i there may be six pieces here i can't remember but it's all the tin from the old one that i didn't use is up under this door here and then there's a lot more of it i think 11 more sheets over there so that's plenty to do the pistol range shelter out there on the range at the classroom. Just got to finish cleaning up a little bit here and uh, get the ledger board put up and start building this frame. So I've still got to, I know I've got wire, I've just got to find it. If not, I may end up buying a, a roll just so I can do the wiring the way I want to. But uh, I'm getting closer. Once I wrap this side with metal, everything in there will be pretty much EMP protected. It will not be perfect, but nothing really is. There's no 100% guaranteed way to protect anything from an EMP. But having the metal roof and wrapping the walls with metal is going to give me well over 90, 95% chance of whatever's in there surviving in an EMP. <clears throat> so, that is the plan. If I have enough, which I don't think I will, when I finish the lean-to on that side and the classroom pistol range out there, then I may start to wrap that side over there, at least do one or two sides of it. I don't know. I may do the outside edge and leave the front and back open so I can drive through with the tractor and the, and the backhoe. But either way, there will be some more storage put up above on that side. I'm thinking of taking this that I've built and shortening it, making it a little less storage room really, but more headroom walking up under it. So I may just go in and cut each board and shorten it by six inches, raise it up another full six inches and 
that'll still give me plenty of storage and and a little bit more headroom but the problem with that is i know it's not a lot of stuff on there y'all but that's a lot of time and effort putting that stuff up there and building it and now take it apart to do that so i don't know if i'll do that anytime soon i would much rather go ahead and get the the lean to on the other side done and the wrap on this side done before i start tearing into that kind of storage rebuild so anyway i was down there when i was cutting grass i took a quick look at the old shooting bench out there it's covered up with a bunch of scrap lumber that we were using uh building that classroom and uh, the shelter on the classroom there for the pistol range there's a lot of wire down there it's single strand you know but it's stranded 10 gauge wire so it'll more than handle the the load that i'm going to do out here I could run that and be just as you know just fine with it but um i don't know if i will or not excuse me it looks pretty good when it's all cut i have to admit you know, i didn't i don't y'all can't tell on here but if i zoom in that very last little bit there where the shade hasn't hit yet i didn't finish right up there on that corner mainly because it's really thin up there and I could cut that once every two or three times and it not be any thicker than the rest of it. So, but I probably didn't have 10 minutes left to finish that. But like I say, it's really thin up there because that's why I, I graded all the dirt from that hill down to build the foundation for pouring concrete for the house. So we actually took about a foot and a half off of that hillside up here and brought it down here. Built up the house pad and all around it. So that, that's, you know, 11 years ago, but this old hard red clay, it's taken that long for it to really get some decent grass on it. But either way, it's pretty when it's cut. And it's peaceful. I got to get out there and move it on them two dead pine trees that fell. But that's another feeling froggy day. Get out there and get something done. But. My next thing, I believe, is to start going through that old lumber there, getting all the screws and nails out of it, cutting off bad sections, finding out what I've got so I'll know what I may have to buy to do the lean-to. So uh, that's going to be a big part of it since it's such big lumber. As long as I can get good stuff out of it, I'll reuse it. If not, I'll end up having to buy some more. But I'm sure a lot of it is usable. So Anyway... Just going to do a little quick update for y'all. I know this. I, I've got some really good videos that I'm planning on doing in the next few weeks. Um, at least one, if not more, is going to be on the range. We're going to do a little um, training and target practice type deal. Some more uh, draw fire is what I call it. Because, you know, the bad guy's not going to stand still and say, hey, be still so I can get my sights on you. That's not the way you train people. It ain't all about hitting the perfect bullseye. It's about stopping the threat, hitting your target on a draw fire. They're not going to stand still for you. So I'm, th I'm planning on doing a video for that. And um, as soon as my decapping pins come in for 223, I plan on doing some 223 reloading. So you reloaders out there that are following me, I appreciate y'all. I've got a video coming pretty soon for that for y'all on 223556. And those that just like the, the shooting and target and practice stuff out there, um, I've got a video I'm planning on doing for y'all coming pretty soon. And, uh, you know, like I said in the, the last video, we're right at 11,000 total views for this channel. And by far my most viewed video is 22 long rifle for self-defense which was the single action 22 mag or 22 long rifle pistols that i've got and i was just out on the range by myself draw fire and draw right and left hand and shooting that that video's got almost 2700 views um last time i looked so that's a lot of views for one video. And as my buddy told me, 
what's getting the views is what people want to see so you need to do more of it so i'm planning on doing a little bit more of that for y'all but i do appreciate y'all those that have subscribed my daughter texted me also while i was cutting grass and and uh said 175 and i said woohoo so currently we are at 175 hopefully we will continue to grow i appreciate all you new subscribers and all the ones that have been with me since the very beginning we are approaching one year mark i would sure like to get to you know a thousand two thousand subscribers but i understand it takes a while so if you enjoy the content i put out please subscribe to the channel share the channel with people that you think may be interested in it and hit that like button it really helps me with the youtube uh, algorithm to share and suggest a video to other people and that helps me grow so much so thank y'all very much i appreciate you remember the two things i always tell you jesus loves you and so do i y'all be safe be prepared